Hi guys, it's Owen at Mass, and today I'm going to show you how you can add devices onto your Smart PSS software so you can access them remotely. When you have Smart PSS downloaded and installed, you can then go ahead and go to Configuration and Devices. And then in here, you can see that we already have a recorder added. However, I'm going to add a new device and we'll call it Camera. And we'll want to change the method to add to SN. Paste the serial number of the device in, put the username in and the password. And then here we can see that it's then added the camera. The camera's come online and we can also see the model number that the camera is as well. If we click the, click the cog wheel on the right hand side to go to the device config, we can see here that Smart PSS gives us a list of options to pick from. We can actually view the camera live from Smart PSS, so you can see my hand moving there. And then we can also link straight directly into the camera so we can have more options as well. For the camera side, you will need to have the camera powered up from a separate PoE switch. This will not work if you have the camera connected into the back of the recorder. So you will need a separate PoE switch that's feeding network into the camera as well. Once our login page has come up, we can then log into the camera and we can be greeted with our usual settings for the camera. So we can make any changes while we are technically not on site. So any of these kinds of changes, we can go ahead and change anything in the camera. Really useful tool to have, again, of course, if you are not on site and you need to check into one of the cameras. We can, of course, do the same for the recorder. So if we again go to the recorder, it will give us our list of options. And again, we can do the same thing as what we did before the camera, and we can link directly into the web browser of it. So as long as your device is added by P2P or the access platform and make sure that it is online, you should have no issues with adding this device to Smart PSS and simply logging into it like I have just done there. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up and thank you for watching.